Hello, good morning, happy Tuesday. So on Friday, I left super early because I was leaving my drug release samples to measure and then I was accessing them remotely. So I was like analyzing them when I got to Surrey like all evening. And then I realized that I screwed up the ratio of plasma to nanoparticle and I kept beating myself up over it all weekend because I was like, oh my gosh, now I have to repeat it, the whole thing. I have to make new particles, concentrate them, analyze them and then wait a whole like week to let the drug release and spend another full day or two on the box. So I was so frustrated with myself but it's okay, got over it. Just accepting that I have to repeat it. It's 8 a.m. Tuesday morning. Let's just do it, let's just do it. Good, I'm out of buffers. So I have to move buffers. Why do I keep thinking it's Tuesday? Today is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. I'm so happy because I've been like trying to rest my leg for the past week and this weekend I went and bought new shoes because I think that it's the, the shoe that I got before that I've been running with weren't fitted for my foot properly because I have like wide feet and like the edge of my shoe was already like ripping and like it was my left foot that had that like weird pain thingy in the calf slash shin area so I got new shoes, got fitted for them properly, they're wider now and uh, yesterday I like did a little bit of like test running on my walk and it felt like a lot better and then today I did like a really easy 7 slash 8 kilometer run at a really slow pace and I, I feel good there's like a slight hint of a pain I think it's fine I think so so I'm just gonna like continue to ice it and stuff but yeah super pumped to be back training yesterday I made all my particles because I'm gonna repeat that release study and control the plasma slash nanoparticle ratio and the concentration here are the beakers You know the drill. It is just going to be filtering them, sizing them, concentrating them, sizing them again, checking the concentration, and prepping for the next round of drug release studies. <gasps> Hello, Peppy. Oh. Hello, Daniel. <laughs> Hello. Anyways, that was Danielle and Peppy from the next door lab. They were just asking about using our plate reader here, which hasn't been working. <laughs> but anyways, I don't know what I was saying. I think I'm gonna have to come in on Saturday to do the 72 hour time point because I screwed up the whole drug release study last time. So I'm gonna have to probably pull a weekend, but it's fine. It shouldn't take that long. Oh my God, hello. It is almost one. I just checked the concentration and now I'm gonna prepare the solutions for the plasma drug release. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Today is time zero and here we go again. <sighs> There's truly a trend here. If I have a day full of experiments planned and I'm moving around, I'm so happy. If I have more desk work and like barely any experiments planned, I'm so sad and I feel so isolated. Another thing that I've been tackling recently, apart from these mood swings that are dependent on whether or not I do lab work, is the fact that the end of my PhD is kind of in sight now. It's getting clearer and clearer what steps I need to take. I I've actually been so anxious. This is the most anxious I've ever felt in a long time with regards to like where I'm gonna be and what next steps I'm going to take. And since the beginning of my degree, I've been so focused on getting one thing done, which is my thesis. And that was basically my motivation and my will to live for like the set number of years. I've never thought about what's next after this because all of my energy was spent on focusing on like finishing the degree. So now that I'm getting there, I just don't know how to cope. It's just been a lot of anxiety, a lot of restless nights, very bad sleep and just this overall sense of like lack of control there's excitement too but mostly fear i think i have to get over the fear first 
I don't know why I'm so scared like of growing of like growing up and I feel like I've been under this nice blanket of security with being in grad school that I'm still a student there's no adult responsibilities really but then the question is like what does it even mean to be an adult anywho before I spiral down this any further <laughs> I do want to say that I have booked a counseling appointment with our faculty's counselor. I'm hoping that she can help me with kind of organizing my thoughts and feelings and getting a firm grasp of my emotions because it's just been a whirlwind and I just, I just feel like I'm losing control of my emotions. Okay, anyways, enough of that. It's fine, it's fine. It's gonna be okay. It'll always be okay. I'm just gonna focus on what I can right now, which is this publication plan and talk to you later. Oh my God, finally, finally, it's a good now, good now. Oh my god, oh my god, wait. We have been passing this back and forth for a week. We're good to go. So I'm starting to write. Starting to write. It's happening. It's happening. Any who's? Check in with you later. Bye. Why is writing so hard? <laughs> I have a title. I have a title. Come on in. Come on in. You can do this. You can do this! Okay, okay. At least there's a title. Mm -hmm. At least there's a bloody title. Good morning! Happy Friday! Happy Friday! Today is a writing day. The game plan is to start. Just to start, the action plan is to use Pomodoro. And we'll be doing 25 minutes on, 5 minutes off. Check back in with you later. Bye! Five minute break. I did two rounds of 25 minutes, so it's been 50 minutes. Can you hear the timer? <laughs> I don't know what it is about Pomodoro exactly that like actually helps me to stay focused. I leave the ticking sound on so it's like tick 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 so I feel like maybe that just like lights a fire up my butt so I feel stressed enough to work. Getting my second cup of tea in my favorite favorite mug. Oh no the timer. We will not be defined by numbers. Five minute break. I think I'm slowly starting to lose my mind already. Oh my god, oh my god, two minutes, two minutes. I need to go get my tea, I need to get my tea. Okay, five minutes is up. I finished very first draft of the methods and materials. It's time for lunch. This little guy has been super picky about his food. Every time we go back to S-U-R-R-E-Y with my parents, my mom always cooks him meat and feeds it to him piece by piece so he's super spoiled. And then once he gets back here, he just doesn't like his kibble. Let's just try to feed him some lunch. Are you hungry? Do you want to eat it all? Nothing, nothing, no response. Okay, let's grab his bowl, I cleaned his bowl. Okay, oh. My god, did you hear that? That was my belly. I should feed myself too. Come on. I tried to mix in this loaf here. Do you want it now? Okay, go. dog is fed ridiculous he refuses to eat that by itself anyways i have my lunch here you wanna eat and then get back to the writing board Hello. nice camera i got here <laughs> he has this uh stain on the leg hello birthday boy oh, yeah, no 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 i don't need it hey guys if you like this comment like and subscribe hello john Hello, Andrew. Oh, wait, this is yours. Mm, yep. 
There's two types of people. So you eat the outside of yeah, the shrimp. Yeah, so yeah. crunchy. I yeah. didn't know that Try, that try it with it, with the outside. And then there's people who you just eat it. the outside. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like I'm being trolled right now and all of you have hidden your <laughs> shell. <laughs> no, we have no evidence just of it. Just throw it up. <laughs> you can well, eat the yeah. shell. Success, success. Oh, you were close. It went so much further. That was not expected. Cheers. 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 There are ships that sail the ocean. There are ships that sail the sea. But the best ships are friendships. <laughs> and friends will always be. Oh. <laughs> I'll drink to that. I'll drink to that. Happy, Happy birthday. Oh dear. What the hell is this? Oh dear. <laughs> just went for the kill shot. He's yeah, very skilled so in many other areas of oh, his thank life. You. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. To make a way on cake. Hello, hello. Happy Saturday. I just came from the beach. So we're finally able to hang out outside with 10 people. Oh my gosh. I, I didn't even realize how much I missed hanging out with people in groups. That was so much fun. It was Louis' birthday. Louis and Tariq actually. And we just all met up at the beach and Yao made food for us and it was so fun and so much sunshine and it, oh, it was so fun. But I had to leave because of my 72 hour time point. <laughs> so now it is sitting on ice for half an hour so it's been four minutes while this is on ice for half an hour. Let's go to the Grand Lounge. How sad is this? Like, I I couldn't even pay off a dollar fifty cents because I didn't have fifty cents. So I only paid off a dollar. Oh my goodness. So a few things I wanted to update you on. First thing is last night I got an email from the boss forwarding me the news that our review article has been finally accepted into the journal that we submitted it to. So my 86 page review article is going to be out live soon. I'm very excited. I'm very happy. I'm very, very, very relieved and I'm super grateful that it has been accepted and I'm super grateful to have worked with Roland because he was, has just been amazing amazing with this whole thing. So Roland, shout out to you. We wrote an article together, 86 pages long. I'm not entirely sure how long it will officially be once it is actually published because they'll definitely format it and stuff to fit their journal like format and everything. I will keep you posted on how many pages it actually turns out to be. Maybe by the time this video goes up, there will be like an official proof or it will be actually live. So if that's the case, then I can put it right here this document that I have spent three years of my life writing. Nobody told me to write a freaking 86 page paper, but here you go. Here is a paper that nobody asked for. <laughs> the next thing I wanted to update you on is just like the progress of my marathon training. So I took a week off from last Wednesday to went to this Wednesday and I tried to run again and then Wednesday it felt fine and I ran like a seven or eight kilometer run and then on Friday I ran another eight kilometer run but then I started to feel a little bit of pain in my calf and now I just don't know if I should continue to run. There's like a hint of pain. So I've been icing it and like resting it, stretching a lot and keeping hydrated and such to make sure that I don't injure it further but I'm, I'm really concerned about whether I should be running and like today I did like a 10 kilometer and it's strange like it feels like a sharp pain sometimes when I stop and then like the first few steps when I walk it it, it feels it, like I feel the pain but then it goes away after a while and same thing with running like when I first start off sometimes it will hurt but then it won't hurt throughout the whole run so maybe I'm fine 
but I've been wearing like a brace or like, I don't know, one of those like compression thingy bobbers to like keep everything tight, I guess. And that seems to help when I'm running, but yeah, I'm not sure. I read online that running with a little bit of pain is pretty okay. It's just never to let it go past like a four out of 10 or a three out of 10 on the pain scale. But then the pain scale is so freaking like subjective. I don't know. I think this is a good place to end the vlog. It's been quite a long one. Oh, my timer. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the lab, work up that stuff, and go home and potato. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.